My name's Lieutenant Colonel Chris Mundy. I'm the 99th Reconnaissance Squadron Commander out at Recce Town at Beale Air Force Base, California. And I'm the commander of the unit that trained up Major Jeff Anderson, the first U-2 reservist pilot. This is the first time that a reservist has become qualified in the U-2 aircraft in Air Force history. The 9th Reconnaissance Wing is looking at uh, doing this now in order to address the manning concerns that we have with the pilot corps in the, in the Air Force. And so the U-2 pilot corps is, is not unique in that uh, we've actually lost a fair amount of our experience as well. However, a lot of those uh, pilots, those experienced pilots, ended up joining the reserves. We just haven't had an avenue to train them up to fly the aircraft until now. I went to pilot training at Laughlin and uh, I went and flew KSO 35s for four years. And then I went back to uh, pilot training as a T6 instructor for three years. And then I applied the U2 program and I did that for four years before I left active duty. In the last two years, I've been uh, non-flying IMA and flying for uh, Delta Airlines. And uh, now I'm back flying the U2. He's actually all done with his check rides now. And so he's ready to deploy downrange flying uh, in harm's way. Uh, as a reservist for the U-2 program. Will there be more reserve pilots that are flying in the future? I, I imagine so. so. Now that we've done this once, we know how did the process works. I think into the next few years, we will be seeing more reserve pilots fly in the U-2 program, maybe as many as uh, two to three a year. I'm just honored to uh, be able to come back and be a citizen airman and, and uh, still serve the Air Force 